Welcome back Pure Structure Traders. In today's video we're going to be going over the date time zone and settings that you can use for Sierra charts, opening up your first chart in Sierra charts and also some of the chart settings you can use as well in Sierra charts. So again, if you guys do like these videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. So let's go ahead and get into it for you guys. So let's go ahead and talk about some of the date time zone settings that you can set up. So what you're going to have to do is go here up at the top here. You're going to see file, edit, chart, analysis, tools, spreadsheet, uh, trade, global settings, window, uh, and also help here. What we're going to do is go over here into file. And you're going to move all the way down to the bottom here and you're going to click on what's called data trade service settings. When you click on this, you're going to see service right here. Ours is CQG Web API, but you may have a different one. Again, there's going to be a lot of different options you're going to have. So go ahead and click that drop down there and you're going to see uh, many different options. Again, Sierra Charts Futures Orders, Sierra Charts Data, All Services, Rhythmic, if you do have that. Um, again, they have a bunch of other ones, TD Ameritrade. So whatever service that you have specifically, uh, we do have Sierra Charts and we are linked to CQG Web API based off of our AMP Futures. If you don't know about that, we do have another video that explains how we use Use the bundle package for AMP futures and uh, how we set up our Sierra charts as well. Uh, but again, ours is clicked here on CQG Web API. Now over here on the right hand side, you're going to see connect on program startup and also reconnect on failure. You're going to want to have these two clicked. It just makes it easier. Uh, again, time zone right below this here, you're going to see New York. This is what I like to use New York time zone uh, as I do like to trade the uh, open of the US session. But you can click that drop down and you're going to see all different types of options. Los Angeles, Chicago, Denver. So kind of wherever you're at, uh, if you're in London, they have a London option as well. Again, we're in uh, Hawaii. There also is a Hawaii option that you can click on, which is Honolulu, if you want to use that as well. But again, I like to use the New York uh, time zone. So you can go ahead and click that if you'd like to use that as well. Intraday uh data storage time unit it's going to be one tick uh this is going to be the default setting here which is 4000 you can leave this alone 186 and 186 um i do have this enable fix logging in uh which basically allows me to log in automatically uh once i click ok and then allow support for sierra chart data feeds i uh, can click that as well uh, once you do that you're going to go ahead and leave everything else at its default and just click OK. Uh, and then again, you're going to come right back up to this file here. And if it hasn't connected automatically, you're going to go ahead and click on connect to data feed. And that should connect you guys directly to data feed. And a lot of times you'll see right here in the upper left hand corner, it's going to go from red to green, which shows you that you have data feed service connected. Now, again, if you haven't set yourself up with Sierra charts, uh, make sure you guys do set yourself up with Sierra charts first. You got to go onto Sierra charts website and set that up and actually pay for Sierra charts and then uh, look towards a broker if you don't have one. Again, if you guys do want to go ahead and take a look at some of the other videos that we put on there and the brokers we use and the bundle package we have and how we set up Sierra charts, we do have videos on that as well. Now, let's go ahead and talk about how to open up your first chart. Now, the easiest way here is going to be going here into file and you're going to see one, two, and three down. You're going to see find symbol. Once you click on that, you can go ahead and we use features CME. So again, you can click on this. If you uh, click on this little tab here, it can uh, expand it here and make more drop downs. I'm going to go ahead and make it simple. We're going to go to S and P 500 again. Uh, it's again, you can expand that, make more drop downs. You can see December's 2021 contract has expired. So we're going to have to go into March 2022, which is where we're at right now. You can see the symbol here. Once you click on that, you're going to see it pop up here, select symbol type, right? So you're going to see it right here. You're going to go down to open intraday chart. Once you click on open intraday chart, you're going to actually see the chart right here pop up and it's going to say waiting uh, to load historical data and it's going to load up whatever the historical data is as of current. Uh, now, once you have this loaded up, 
you can go ahead and mess around with some of the chart settings now that's going to be pretty simple you're going to go up to the top again and you're going to click on chart now the first one here is going to be chart settings you're going to click on chart settings here and once you do that you're going to see this little box pop up um, again it's the main settings right here so we're just going to focus on this one here in this video for you guys you can see on the left hand side you can load the amount of days you want to load again this is only loaded for two days uh, makes it a little bit quicker for this video but you can load 60 days 120 days whatever works best for you again uh, it might take a little bit longer the more days you decide you want to load but again you can go ahead and do that and you can I have this uh, kept clicked use number of days to load again it just loads whatever days I decide I want to use now moving down here into price display format I usually just leave this at the default as it dis displays the format of the price that I want uh, perfectly on the sides and the bottom so I'm okay with that um, volume at price multiple I just left it at one now again if you want to change the symbol you're gonna see right down here you can see symbol if you want to change that you just go into find and you can switch it to whatever contract you want to um, if you want a different contract you can switch that and again in this video we're going to show you how you can automate it to where it switches over the contract for you in Sierra charts uh, but again if you want to switch over to like say crude oil um, or a different like Nasdaq or something different you can go ahead and just click on find symbol click that drop down and then find the specific contract you want to switch over to uh, but moving over to the right here you're gonna see intraday chart and moving down here is days minutes seconds per bar that's exactly what we're loaded at right now uh, which is pretty much our uh, time charts there now if you want to switch it up to something else you just click on this drop down you can have a lot of different options volume per bar number of trades per day range per bar standard and ticks that's also what we use uh, in our Sierra charts as well it's gonna be a, a bunch of different ones uh, scrolling down as well you get wrinkle charts uh, that you can use reversal bar charts uh, and other range per bar charts you can use as well so whatever kind of works for you I'm just gonna keep it on days minutes uh, seconds per bar makes it a little bit simpler now moving down uh, below again here in the settings if you are using time charts you can switch it again it's your days your minutes and then your seconds so again we're at a one minute chart right now you can see that here but if I wanted to switch it over let's just say to a 60 minute chart I just type in 60 there and I just click apply and it would switch it over to 60 minutes another cool tip you can use um, outside of this uh, is if you just kind of close that off and you want a one minute chart you just click on that chart and you just click one press enter and it switches over or if you want to go back to that 60 you type in 60 on your keyboard you click enter and it goes back to that 60 so cool little tip you guys could use uh, there as well but going back into the chart settings moving down a little bit further you can leave gap fill none um, that's a default setting now important here is the start time and end time again we chose the New York time so again our start time is 9 30 Eastern Standard Time and again our end time is 16 14 59 um, which is about 4 14 and 59 seconds again you can change that to whatever you want that's just what works best for me and that's where it's going to display the specific session uh, and bars per that session right and kind of remove everything else that is not within that session uh, again you can keep this I'd like to keep this clicked on use evening session uh, evening start time again I just made it uh, which is a second after which is about 415 right I ended here at 414 59 my next one is 415 and evening end is 9 29 59 again my start time in the US session is 9 30 so I just made it a second in difference um, so you guys can do that as well if you like um, again I'd like to keep this clicked on new bar at session start and also uh, if you want to load the weekend data you can click on that if not you can choose from the options here do not load weekend data load Saturday data load Sunday data you can choose your options but I just leave it at load weekend data uh, automatically roll over future symbol this is where you can have it roll over for you in Sierra charts um, again if you want to do that you can keep it clicked on like this 
and it will go ahead and roll it over save days to load intraday uh, bar period you can keep that clicked as well if you want that um, but I keep it unclicked I like to manually do it on my own um, uh, that way I <clears throat> know exactly when I'm going to be rolling over and where the more volume is at right so a lot of times when you click on this automatically roll over it's not going to be based off of the amount of volume that you have per uh, whatever contract is being traded um, it's just going to be based off of time frame, right? So uh, you can do it if you want, but again, I like to uh, just do it manually. Now, going further into the right, um, right here, graph draw type. Now, again, you're going to see we have it here on candlestick bars. It just makes it look cleaner if you have it like that. You can use all different types, uh, high, low, close bars. You can apply that and you can see um, it's just going to pretty much give you the high, low, close of the specific bar there. Uh, you can use candlestick body only and you apply that it's going to just pretty much give you this without the wicks you can see candlestick bars that actually shows you the wicks that happened here on the bar this is one that i like but it's just really based off of preference um, and you know what you like to see there are ranko bricks you can use as well which might be a little bit better for those who like that um, and price volume bars you can use that you know you can see where the volume is Lots of selling volume. You can see uh, that is highlighted, you know, as the price is moving, right? So it just kind of depends on what you like. I do like the candlestick bars, so that's the one that I leave it at as well. So, uh, but that pretty much wraps it up for the basics on the chart settings you can use. Uh, the opening your first chart and also your time zone settings uh, for your Sierra charts as well. So again, if you guys do like the videos, please go ahead and smash that like button. If you guys are not subscribed to the channel yet, please go ahead and subscribe. You guys take care. Have a great night.